I uh, really uh, don't know why it is that uh, all of us are so committed to the sea. I think it's because, in addition to the fact that the sea uh, changes, and the light changes, and the uh, ships change, it's because uh, we all came from the sea. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore, uh, we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. My uncle was the sailing master, Red Shannon. He saved this ship in a storm. Yeah, my father always told me all the stories. He used to bring me on here when I was a kid. I thought my father had been here about a year. And then he got trained, you know, when he left and went up to Bitterton Pool, Maine, as a commander of a life saving station. The captain called him up and asked him if he would come back. He said, Jack, I need you back. So he came back and then the post guy said to my father, he said, Jack, you can stay on here as long as you want. My father he told me one story about the day he, uh, they were going up the coast and they got diverted into uh, Washington Navy Yard. And uh, they had to clean up the ship real quick because everybody uh, they had, to, had to clean up because President Kennedy wanted to see the ship. I noticed them working on the anchor here today at the top, hanging on a motion chair. They did that underway that day when they were going to meet the president, getting the rust off the anchor and painting it up. And then when they got into the Washington Navy Yard, he said um, the motorcade came down right at the end of the dock. All the armed forces, it was uh, the Eagle right there, and uh, the president came aboard. Got to the top of the gangway, my father gave the bosun his uh, bosun whistle, which we still have today, uh, that bosun whistle. Gave him orders to pipe him aboard. So they got to the top of the gangway, they piped him aboard. And all the sailors, sailors slid down the back stakes. Perfect formation, they landed on deck. Then, then after the president met with the admirals and cadets and all, he, uh, he said, I want to meet the regular crew. Because the Eagle always has a regular crew. And then he, he goes up on the folks, so they're all lined up. And oh, my father's name is John F. Kennedy. So he's going down meeting the crew, and when he got to my father, uh, you know, they said, this is John F. Kennedy, and the President Trumbull says, uh, he says, uh, tell me, Chief, have you had any problems with that name? And my father just said, no, why, Mr. President? And he says, uh, because I thought maybe you blame me for some of my mistakes. <laughs> and they all laughed, you know. But he said it was a very proud day for the Coast Guard. that ship home in a storm one time. Everybody was so seasick, that thing rolled. And that was out of station in London. And uh, Captain Hindrick, that's what happened. When they got the new cutter, the point Dome, they needed a new captain. Captain Hindrick recommended him. Because he brought that ship home in a storm, he came into Sandy Hook Bay and dropped the anchor. And they were captain the top of ladder and said he was so glad to see inside the harbor. He reckoned my father, so they flew my father out to Port uh, Seattle. That's where they built all the Navy 2s. So he brought it from Seattle down to the Panama Canal and up to New London. And then he was stationed right here in New London. That's how we uh, ended up back here. I was a kid, I used to go all the time. Back then you could take your son with you. I'm not sure there are many other Americans who could uh, climb that uh, rigging and unfurl those sails in uh, good times and in bad times. I think that uh, 
the American people have been too long unaware of the high quality and high caliber of the cadets of the Coast Guard. And there is not anyone uh, who has uh, sailed any of our lakes or oceans who has not at one time or another been the beneficiary of the faithful service of the Coast Guard. This is a very uh, ancient service in our country's history. We're proud of you and wish you many years of service in the Coast Guard and the service of our country.